Welcome Snack Tackers, my name is Jason and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the fun YouTube stuff. Now let's get to talking about this product. Well, I can't add m uh, mush mouth. I cannot hide my excitement because the previous product in this line was so good. In fact, it was surprisingly good. In that, I've had things in that line sort of before, and they weren't nearly as flavorful and as texturally fulfilling. This is the brand new Cup Noodles Stir Fry Rice with Noodles Japanese Teriyaki Chicken flavor. That's right, Japanese Teriyaki Chicken. Now, I did tell you in the Thai Yellow curry flavor that a lot of these new flavors are coming from different regions. This one is a Japanese teriyaki chicken. I think I previously said, um, maybe, well, I don't think I, I, I don't know what I said in the previous one, but the final one is a Korean beef. I'm super excited for it as well. Now, now that I've had the other one, I do know that the noodles are going to be smaller. They're going to blend in a lot with the rice. The other thing is, I looked at the instructions a little more carefully, and something I didn't do last time was stir before I microwave. This time I did. So hopefully we have a little bit more of an even distribution of the flavors. Though already they were pretty evenly distributed last time. Look at that steam. I mean, that's not, that's not something to be impressed by, but for some reason I kind of am. We've got a similar thing where... The noodles and rice are absolutely blending in. The smell is... Oh, it smells so good. I think the closest thing I would actually compare it to smell-wise is the oriental flavor of ramen noodles, the blue pack. Now, that one I recently had learned was just basically soy sauce flavored. And teriyaki sauce is actually based in soy sauce. Soy sauce is the base, and then they add things to it. So it's no surprise that the biggest scent that I'm getting is a soy sauce. Now this was purchased, oh this is dumb, is this the one where I didn't write on the cap? It is the one where I didn't write on the cap, which means I wrote it on the bottom. This was purchased at a Julasco for $1.99. I'm super excited. This is also my lunch, it's noon. Um, I'm not super excited about downing a bunch of carbs because I already worked out this morning, but like, you know, that's life. Sorry, I, I'm worried it's hot. You can see the steam. Wait, this time you can't. Yes, you can! Haha! -ha! Well, let's give it a try. Three, two, one! Snack tack! Mmm. Delicious. Now, a couple things on this one. The flavor is a lot more subdued. It's not bad, which is something I say every time I'm not really, really loving something. But, um, again, texturally, it's fantastic. I really do love the texture of the rice and the noodle combined. Flavor-wise, it's a lot, lot lighter. There's a light kind of soy sauce, something sweet. Um, those are the main flavors. I don't get any chicken flavor. Nor do I get any, like, pieces of chicken. And I don't think there are any pieces of chicken. Oh, it says there are. Oh, no. Stir-fry style rice with Asian noodles and sauce. Does not say that there is chicken. But I'm gonna check these ingredients. Diced carrot. Dried bok choy. Soy protein. That could be the attempt at chicken. Chicken stock. Egg white. Egg yolk. Yeah, no chicken fat but no actual chicken in it. And that kind of bears out. This is a much lighter flavor. And because of that, it's not as good, but again, texturally, it's fantastic. It's still gonna get a Snack Tech Yas, but out of 10, whereas the other one got eight out of 10, I'm gonna give this a 6.5 out of 10. You might think, oh, but it's only one below. No, it's like a 1.5 almost too below flavor-wise. The Thai coconut was so good because it, it had fantastic flavor and fantastic texture. This one still has the great texture, but it does not have the flavor. 
I keep eating it. Some of these videos, like, I'm just eating so much during the video. And I try not to do that, but as it's cooling down, I can get different levels of the flavor because I can let it kind of sit in my mouth longer. <laughs> that's a weird way to put it, but it's true. So, yeah, that's where I'm putting that. Uh, I need to write that down right away because I will forget. In fact, I think I already forgot. 6.5, right? Right? Yeah. 6.5 should have 10. Well, I didn't do that. I didn't even write that right. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. But the question we ask around here is not, will the final cup noodle rice and noodle thing be the best? I mean, Korean beef, that's probably going to be fantastic. I mean, even the Korean almonds, which aren't actually in the pantry, so I don't know why I pointed there. The Korean almonds and the Korean mixed nuts that we had were pretty good. So it feels like these Korean seasonings are quite, quite good. No, it's would you buy it again? This one I would not. I think I would have to assume that if this one is on the shelves, the other one, at the very least, the Thai is on the shelves. And I would go for the Thai one all over again. So no. But remember to check Instagram, TikTok, all the TikTok, TikTok, all the fun social media stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.